Hello everyone, I'm here today to talk to you about the new updated Bins Plus. Our team's been working really hard over the last year to enhance this platform to work better for you and we're really excited to show it off, so let's check it out. Welcome to your new Bin Dashboard. A few things have changed since last year, so let's take a look. First, we've added Bin Yards. As you can see, we're currently looking at all of our bins. Now you can organize them into different bin yards and add as many bin yards as you like. We tried to make it familiar by making it similar to a tab system on an internet browser. Another big change you'll notice is we've brought some more information to the forefront of your bin card, such as initial moisture, completion time, or to tell you how many days that inventory has been in storage. Before we get really in depth into some of these things that's changed, let's go through making a bin and making a bin yard and organizing our first few bins. Now that we've got a fresh dashboard, let's get started. The first thing I would do is create a bin yard. So at the very top, click add bin yard, name that yard, and you can optionally add a description. Press submit, and now you can see we have a tab up here. Any bin that you create while you're in that tab will automatically put that bin into that bin yard. So let's make our very first bin in our first bin yard. Click this button right over here to get started. And we're going to get our first screen. We name the bin, we can add the height and diameter, the shape of the bin, and also you can see down here it is in bin yard 1. So let's fill that information in now. Next, we're going to be able to select the fan that we have on our bin. So depending on the aeration style you have, you can pick the style of fan and then the size of the fan. This is used for when you hook it up to a Bindat Plus device. We'll actually be able to tell how much CFM that fan is pushing and just overall get more information about the whole conditioning process. Sensors is where you would connect a smart device to your bin. If you have a smart device, you'll be able to connect it right here, even after you created the bin, but it's not necessary. You can use this as just a simple management software without any devices connected. The inventory page is where you set the inventory for your bin. Let's say we have barley in this bin and it's about half full. We can put in what we're gonna use it for and we wanna put in information about the initial moisture content and what we really want to target the moisture for, if we're going to be foreseeing any conditioning uh, events that we need to do. Once you're done filling out all the information, press submit. Now you can see we're in our bin page. So let's explore. The first card you can see here with the bin is your bin visualization tool. The slider to the right of the bin can be used to decrease or increase your inventory. The information from any bin app device or connected devices will show to the left of the bin. When those devices are connected, you can simply use bin modes that are located below the bin to turn your bin into an automated conditioning machine. Below that, you'll get an estimated time of completion. You'll also see the CFM per bushel that you're pushing to see if you're effectively drying. And you'll be able to see what your grain went in at, the current moisture, and the target moisture. You'll also be able to pull down graphs for any connected device. We've put the notes and history into a window on the side just to clean up that first page when we come in. And if we go back to our dashboard, we're going to see we have one bin that's been created, bin number one, that has barley, and you can see in the visualization that it's about half full. We wanted to display this in a few ways so that it would be quick for decision making on the farm. So let's create some more bins and see what this looks like as we fill it up. The simplest way to make more bins is to duplicate that first bin we created. So let's do that now. Click on the bin page, go to the more option, the three dots in the top right corner, and click duplicate bin. You'll be prompted to, to name this new bin and it will copy everything from this bin. So if you have attached sensors or inventory, it is going to make a complete duplicate. Now we've made bin 2. 
As you can see on our dashboard, we now have two bins and we've got an increased capacity for storage. And if you're still watching, we're really excited to show to you for the very first time, Visual Farm Beta. We've heard everyone ask us for a way to map out their bin yards and to showcase where everything is. So I think we kicked it up a few notches and I'm really excited to show you. So let's go plot a bin on our Visual Farm. When you first get to Visual Farm, you're gonna have to place your home marker. You're gonna do that by typing in the nearest city close to your farm, finding your farm by scrolling on the map, and then clicking the home button once. This point is draggable at any point and you can plop it right down. The use for this is if I'm over here, I can simply click the home button and it will, and it will bring me back home. So let's plot our first bin. I'm gonna zoom into right here and I'm gonna make a little bin yard here. So I'm gonna set a bin location, click on the map, select my bin and plot the bin. And there you can see I've got one bin and I can click on it and it'll pull up a drawer of all of my bin inventory right here. And this screen is actually just as interactive as the last one. As simple as placing that bin, I can put another bin and put my second bin down. You can see that they're both half full with grain right now. So let's try moving grain between them. Boom. You can see this bin is now empty and this bin now has 4,000 bushels. Alternatively, we can plot our bin yard location, which is right here. So then when we zoom out of the map, we can see a bin yard location. We can fly back home. We can zoom out and fly into our bin yard where we can see all of our bin inventory here on the drawer and as well have clickable bins on the side. All of our current customers will automatically gain access to all of the tools in our farm management platform. We're calling it Visual Farm Beta because everything is available to you through this visual map, such as your field mappings, where you can see a field overview and create crop plans, see the weather in your field, plan crop or field activities with your team, contribute to notes specific to this field with your team, and simply fly over to your next field and create a really concrete digital log of your visual farm. From here, we can fly into our bin yard. We can see all of our bin yard information on the window and we can click on our bins. Alternatively, just like the fields, we can fly across to our other bin yard and see how those bins are doing. There's lots of features that are gonna be happening and coming out as we're developing. We're looking for as much feedback as possible. We're really excited for all of the users to uh, get access to this and get started. If you aren't a current customer of ours, we are entering a closed beta. So we just ask that you fill out the form, form below and we'll get back to you with access to this immediately. Thank you for your time and have a great harvest.